From the immortal words of Draco Malfoy, red hair and a forest green hurdy-gurdy, you must be a Weasley. Okay, no. Red hair, forest green hurdy-gurdy. Well, it's got to be Patty. I mean, right? <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to support the channel and the merchandise store. <gasps> that was a lot. Anyway, so this one was requested by Michael Dietz, uh, Marloff with Bagpipes on my Patreon uh, for December. But December was so crazy with so many amazing artists and bands throwing out songs and videos just to finish off 2021. I was like... I ran out of time, so we're going to get it done today. And um, this one is done by uh, Patty Gertie, who is probably one of the most famous hurdy-gurdy players on the planet. Um, she's also a vocalist. Uh, she spent time as a member of the Stormseeker uh, for quite a while. She left the band in 2018, um, and uh, she was uh, they and uh, Stormseeker found uh, Fabi uh, to play the hurdy-gurdy with them. And Stormseeker is doing, they're still doing great. Patty's doing great. I love both. Um, I, I love Stormseeker. I love Ailstorm, Feuer Schwanz. There's so many bands out there. Oh, Eluvite. There are so many bands out there that have literally resurrected the hurdy gurdy as a modern instrument. Um, for those who don't know, if you've ever seen a pirate movie of any type, going all the way back to Errol Flynn times the hurdy-gurdy was the sound that you heard um it's one of the most complex instruments um i've ever seen or watched a video about it in fact patty has a couple of videos on her channel there's a couple of other artists that have videos on th on their channel um the only way to describe a hurdy-gurdy is to take to take a cello and a violin Take all the strings of all of those, put them on a mounting housing, um, manipulate the string, uh, the strings, both in resonance and in distortion, with different um, switches and keys along the front portion. And the way they do the resonance against the strings to make the sound, instead of using a rosin bow, now there is one that's like a hurdy-gurdy with the keys and the multiple strings, but you do play it with a bow, and that's a different instrument altogether. It's, it's from that Central Europe Nordic area. Don't know the name, just saying. But I've seen it. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, uh, oh, Tank got it right. If you go to Feuer Schwanz's New Year's Eve uh, celebration, they actually showed both the hurdy-gurdy and the one I was referring to that it's like a hurdy-gurdy, but you play it with a bow on a quiz, and he got both of them right, that they were musical instruments and not kitchen utensils. That's all I can say about that because I'm not even really sure what was going on. All I did was laugh a lot. So anyway, uh, yeah, shout out to Tank, shout out to Feuer Schwanz, but this is, this, is her, this is Patty Gertie's video, okay? The name of the song is Over the Hills and Far Away. Okay, and it's a Nightwish Gary Moore cover using a hurdy gurdy. Now, um, I'm not sure when this one was made, if it was when she was still with Stormseeker or when, after she had left. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me because I enjoy the music that she created as with, with Stormseeker and afterwards. And I love all the stuff that Stormseeker has done when Patty was with them and after when they had Fabi. It doesn't matter. Why? Because they're making amazing folk music, everybody. Uh, Patty Gertie gets to play with a lot of different people. Uh, she gets asked to do collaborations with many bands that are looking for that unique sound of the Hurdy Gertie. Again, Hurdy Gertie is, my daughter saw it. My 17 year old daughter saw a Hurdy Gertie. She fell in love with it and said, dad, I wanna learn how to play the Hurdy Gertie. And I was like, okay. And then I watched two videos. One, 
how much they cost. Holy crap! A decent one, six to eight thousand dollars easy. And it's one of the hardest instruments to maintain because there's so many strings, so much stuff going on, the housing, the crank with the resonance, uh, the resonance wheel inside, and uh, humidity, temperature, pressure, so many different things affect the sound of it. So you have to constantly, yeah, it's a lot of upkeep for, for an instrument. So those who play the hurdy gurdy, you gotta you gotta love it. You gotta be invested in it. It's not just something you can just go, eh, I'll just pick it up and play it. Mm, no, it's not. It's very complex. So um, just watching Patty play it or any player from Ailstorm or Feuerschwanz, um, Stormseeker and Patty, of course, watching them play this thing, you're like, that's a lot of work. And it is. A shout out to Patty. I'm doing this reaction to start off 2022 because I want her to know we want you to have an amazing 2022 because we know that 2021 for you sucked. What a lot of you don't know is that Patty had a disaster happen last year. During the floods in Germany, her home was pretty much washed out. She lost almost everything. Luckily, her hurdy-gurdy and musical instruments were not in the house at the time. She was out of town. And so her, her hurdy-gurdy is fine. And so is she. She's had musical friends uh, uh, and uh, people from around Germany that helped her uh, with a place to stay while she got everything back together. We, we sent, um, I sent money to her uh, via PayPal from all of us, from the old school nerd community. All of you, we got together. I, I took some money and I sent it to her to help her out. And she was very thankful for it. So this is us, all of us, the old school nerd family saying, hey, Patty, have an amazing 2022. You deserve it. So let's check this out. This is Over the Hills and Far Away. I haven't heard this song from her. It is a cover of the Gary Moore slash Nightwish uh, song. Uh, and uh, Patty Gertie, take it away. Is the volume on? Really quiet. They came okay. for him oh, like... one winter's night. Arrested he was bound. They said there'd been a robbery His pistol had been found They marched him to the station house He waited till the dawn There's a cello being played too Who's playing the cello? Is it Sandy from Stormseeker? Sorry, he had the better say. He knew without an alibi, tomorrow's light would pour on his freedom. It's Sandy. Okay, I have said this a few times. Okay, love the way Sandy plays the cello. She's outstanding in how she does this. It's one of the, my favorite things about Stormseeker. So many folk bands uh, that are doing both traditional folk music, or if you're doing something big, like Feuerschwanz does metal folk, or if you're like Ailstorm and they're doing metal folk comedy, or <laughs> it's Ailstorm, but, or Eluvite that's doing more metal with a little bit of folk. The storm, uh, storm seeker, they actually stick to more of the traditional folk style, which I absolutely adore. And they're one of the few bands that utilizes the cello as a resonance fill instrument within it. So much folk music is two or three people, and they have um, uh, it's so light and airy. For instance, if you um, Steven Seagulls, right? Love Steven Seagulls. Love them to death. They do uh, uh, bluegrass, <laughs> bluegrass and folk music covers of metal songs. Love them. But they don't usually use a cello very often. They use a bass player, but it's that don't, 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 don't. And it, not, it doesn't resonate. 
In Stormseeker, Sandy plays the cello with a bow. So you do have that low end, but it resonates and it fills it up and it gives a richness sound. So it is, that's one of the reasons why I love Stormseeker so much is because with Sandy playing the cello with a bow, you have a resonance that literally gives such a richness to the tone. Instead of it being so light and fluttery, it's something that is emotionally investable. Does that make sense? Shout out to Sandy. That's, that's Sandy right there. Great cello player. You saw how many keys there were on that hurdy-gurdy? It is so hard to play. I, I literally watched 30 minutes of, of a video where Patty tries to show you or explain to you how it works. And I'm like, I'm a network administrator, IT engineer. Couldn't follow it. Nope. I do math all day. Couldn't follow it. here i hope you enjoyed this music video for over the hills and far away i did you can now find this song and all the other songs that i have previously released on itunes spotify and amazon and so on and stay tuned for more my album is in the making yes subscribe Bye -bye. okay so yeah check her out on itunes and everything else check out her her youtube channel now um there's actually a video that i made last year where it's Sandy and Patty sitting down playing The Longing. Just the two of them and an acoustic set. And it's one of my favorite videos. I mean, I start crying during it because the sound of a cello and a hurdy-gurdy and just there's nothing else. It's just those two resonances just build up in your emotional set. People ask me all the time, like, old school, do you play music? Yes, I do. Most of it, you don't, I can't play a lot of it because I don't have anybody around here in Louisiana that, that owns a cello or a hurdy-gurdy or a fiddle or a guitar. I play G 
djembe and cajon. I play hand percussion. So the whole reason why I bought a cajon, my first cajon, was because that whole that whole um, Celtic style was just something I knew that I could play on a cajon, which I absolutely love. Um, I will probably play this song, not during this video, but I will probably play this song quite a few times and play a cajon accompaniment to it just just to enjoy myself because it's it's... I love this music. I love folk music. So it explains why everybody's like, why do you love Feuerschwanz and Aelstorm and Stormseeker so much and Steven Seagulls? I was like, because it's the music of, of my heart. I love that stuff. My favorite form of music. It really is. So, all right. So, Patty, here's to you having a much better year in 2022 than you had in 2021. Thank you, Michael Dietz from Oregon for requesting this when I was happy to do it. We'll see you guys later. My name is Old School Nerd, and uh, this was uh, good stuff. <laughs>